In today's video, I'm gonna put my own golf game to the test because the way I see it, well, there are many aspects that go into making you a complete golfer. And we're gonna set up a few challenges today that look at those key areas and see whether I'm up to the task and then I'm gonna throw that challenge back out to you. Because the way I see it, these are the scenarios that you're gonna be faced with in becoming a better golfer out there on the golf course. And today I am filming what is episode one of a two-part challenge series where I'm gonna take on three of those aspects and see how I perform in my own mini challenge. So our first challenge of finding the fairway, as you've seen from the first tee, I narrowly failed by a couple of yards. And it's onto hole number two, and exactly the same challenge, can I find a fairway? I used, interestingly enough, a five hybrid. I get this thing a couple of hundred yards down the line, and the idea is that I've got sort of a bit of control in this club head, and so far it's been okay, but we need to get on the score sheet as we're zero from one. Just on the right side again, just hang on there. Do you know what, we've failed again by a matter of yards. It's just slightly down the right hand side. I'll make the excuse that we're on extremely tight fairways to hit the ball straight. But at the moment, I'm zero from two on the first challenge. Right to the final shot of the, uh, well, I've called it finding a fairway. Oddly, I chose two different uh, weapons of choice and that was hybrid off the tee on those tighter fairway shots, or tee shots rather, and then when uh, it, was, uh, it was needed and called for, I picked driver. My performance has been, uh, well, oddly enough, I hit fairway with driver twice and I only just missed out with the hybrid. I was quite happy with the strikes, but we're two from four, Realistically, three from five, I'd have probably settled for that before we started. And we're back to a par fives, there's a driver hole, and you really should be finding fairway. Question is, can we? So this is to go three from five and finding the fairway challenge. Oh, is it too far down the right? Oh no, well yes, we've got it. We're miles in. That's gone for miles as well. I thought that I'd gone a little bit, started a little bit too far down the right, but there's a lot of fairway down that side and we're definitely right of centre. We're avoiding them trees on the left. But as much as I waffle on, the simple fact is you can tell I breathed a little bit of a sigh of relief there. We found the fairway, so that finishes up in terms of the finding the fairway challenge. Three from five, which I reckon I'm happy with that, you know? Right, so the second part of the challenge is, well, it's 150 yards out. And the question is, can I find the green? It doesn't matter, I don't care how close it is to the flag. This is all about can I get the ball on the green, get my two put and get off with a, uh, with a par. And as you can see, earlier on today, hole number one, we had 150, the elevation was uh, sort of slightly downhill. I chose eight iron, and as I said to Hannah behind the camera, it was probably one of the purest irons I've hit for a long time. And then about two put, we gave ourselves a real good birdie chance on that hole. So right now, I'm one from one. We're on hole number five here now at Carden Park. The same challenge, we've got 100, 50 yards to the flag. Like I said, it's fairly small green, or it seems to be getting smaller because this challenge is on. Can I go two from two? Oh, and the irons are on fire today. That's right at the flag again. Sit. I'm really pleased with that. We had that one right down the uh, line of the hole. I think we've just gone a little bit uh, past the hole, but we're certainly on that green, which is what I want to do. So in this part of the challenge, I'm two from two. Right, so third challenge, 150 in. I'm gonna, again, I'm sticking with eight iron. It's been right so far. We're straight down the flag here, so I haven't got a lot in front of me. Question is, can we keep it straight? And this is to go three from three, which would be really impressive stats from this distance. Ah, 
I think we've got it again, you know. We've got it again if the distance is right. Oh, do you know what? I think we're about a yard short. It was just slightly down that left-hand side, and I think when we get up there, I'm pretty certain that that's just a yard short. So we've now gone two from three. Could go in this. Right, okay, so the final part of the 150 challenge is, uh, well, I'm moving forward to the ladies' tees here. We're 152 to the centre of the green. Don't forget, I'm three from four right now. And if I could get one more on, four from five would be a really good result, especially seeing as I only just missed out that sort of four from four by a couple of yards. I'm sticking with this eight iron. It's been good so far. I need a good positive swing to sort of uh, finish off the day nicely. Come on, and middle of the green. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. If the yardage is right, it's right in the middle of it. Sit. Oh, it's sat and stopped dead. That is pin high. I'm really pleased with that. That's four from five in the 150 challenge. The put from 15 yards. And the question I, or the challenge I've got, is can I get it to within what we call the bin lid, which is arguably that sort of three foot, that sort of length of a putter shaft, should we call it. So I've marked out 15 yards here on the sixth hole and uh, we've got a bit of right to left in this one. The question is, can I get it within that sort of three foot distance and give myself a chance of, uh, well, of realistically, you want to be two putting from this kind of distance. Can we start off the challenge with a win? It's not a bad line, it's not a bad line, it's not a bad line, ooh. Well, it certainly got within the bin lid, and for a long time there, I thought I'd hold that one. So from the putter's challenge from 15 yards, that's one from one. Right, okay, so we've, uh, this is what is gonna be my third part of this putting challenge. If you watch putt number two, you'll see that, well, I reckon, uh, or we agreed, me and Hannah, that I sort of just about failed. It's just outside that three foot. So we've said we're going one from two, even though I did manage to make the two putt, we were just outside that bin lid. Now there was a change in elevation on that putt which I got wrong, it was slightly uphill and we've got vice versa situation on putt number three. It's downhill with a bit of right to left, so can I make the adjustment this time? So a one from two at the moment. It's not a bad line, it's not a bad line. Sit down, yes. Right, okay, we're back in the game. That's two from three. Happy with that after the disappointment of putt number two. Two from three, on to number four. Right, final one of the putting challenge. And uh, at the moment, well, we're three from four. I must admit, I'd have put myself, uh, well, I'd have ranked myself, yeah, four from five. I'd have definitely been, um, been aiming for in this challenge. It's a strong part of my game putting and certainly sort of long putting with weighties. So uh, yeah, I feel like I need to make this to hit my own personal target. So we're off the right and we're downhill. And this is to go four from five. Roll out, roll out, got a chance. Well, I left it too far out to that right-hand side, but the weight was absolutely perfect, and uh, I just taught myself up in terms of my own control, in terms of putting distance, so uh, good job I did that. But four from five, I think, yeah, I'd expect to do that, but I suppose I've got to be happy as the, uh, the one we failed on, but it's just marginally outside. It was thanks to Hannah being miserable and refusing to give it me. Right, so that put completes the challenge, the three shots that I sort of looked at, don't forget, so it was finding the fairway, 150 in, and that putter from 15 yards. I did all right, I was more than happy. The good thing that uh, made it interesting for me, and I'm hoping this uh, resonates for you, is it just makes it, the practice rounds just a little bit more interesting to set yourself those personal goals. And like I said, it meant a little bit more on each of those shots in trying to execute them because I'd set myself a target, as in that sort of, you know, 10 foot from the flag, finding a fairway. The obvious things that you'd look for in a round, but sometimes we just get a little bit lazy when we're practicing and don't focus on any particular goals. So my challenge to you is to do exactly the same and see if you can do any better than I did. Now then, 
As ever, like, subscribe, comment, give me your feedback. I love your interaction with this channel. But also don't forget, we've also filmed an episode two to this little mini series where we've got three more challenges taking place. Right, I'm off to finish them and I'll see you all soon.